Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Erosium and we are back with another World of Warcraft video. In this video we are going to tell you how to wake up next to this fantastic beast every morning as your mount companion. This is the hyena. How cool is this mount? Oh my gosh, it's got bones all over the place. Got a necklace with a doggy bone on. <laughs> It's really cool. It's a scavenging hyena, uh, which I absolutely love. Um, if you're if you're ever like just feeling bored, you can throw him a bone. He's got like a little little basket of bones here. You can chew and gnaw upon. You know, it's an awesome, awesome mount, and I really, really like it. I spent about three hours farming it. It's a super easy farm, and everyone's got just tons of time at the moment with what's going on with the lockdown and the coronavirus. So I figured let's make a video on how to get. An awesome mount on World of Warcraft. Okay, guys, so the route for this mount is super duper easy. I'm just going to show you as I did it when I was doing it in a solo, but this is definitely possible to do as part of a group. It's entirely dependent on what your style of farming is. If you just want to, you know, work on your own or if you just want to go at it as a group, it's entirely up to you. Uh, as Alliance, I got off the ship just here, ran down here, ran to over where I am now. And from here is where I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you on my rogue though, uh, just because I don't want to get into fights as I'm doing uh, the video for you guys. So uh, this is my, my rogue right now. If I was playing my druid uh, or hunter, I would be killing these two, uh, picking up these two, killing that and that. And going straight up here, picking up these two. Remember, there's always one that's sleeping in here. Uh, the sleeping ones don't aggro immediately, so always make sure to pick those up. Kill that guy. If you run too far into the cave, they lose aggro, so make sure you kill them before they go into the cave. Then you run down, collect all of the guys from in here, smash them all down, destroy them. Um, it's quite easy. I, I can kill the entire cave in one go um, and then straight back up. Okay, once you're back up, you turn left. Take care of all these monsters just here. What are they called again? Faith of the Sky. Uh, kill those. Run down here. Uh, this part you have to be a bit careful because there is a few sleeping and they won't aggro unless you attack them. Make sure that you pick up this guy, this guy, and then these two here as well. Uh, this is a really good spot for Boomkin Druids or Moonkin Druids, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have seen guys here who multi-box and just leave four Druids here, four Druids up there, four Druids on the other side of this rock. And it's just crazy. You can get a lot, a lot of uh, monsters. Uh, a lot of mounts. Sorry, what am I on about? Um, yeah, so you kill these and you basically back to the start. And you just keep running that and they will just constantly respawn and you'll always have monsters to kill this is such a good farming spot i farmed this whilst i was listening to my audio book and it is just it was just chill i got the mount after a thousand one hundred seventy seven attempts um definitely fun worth about 75k on my realm but i'm on silver moon um which is a really high pop realm on smaller pop realms you can definitely sell it for a lot more like 250k uh, given the right kind of buyer. But thanks for watching, guys. This is a rosy amount, and I'll see you next time. But I'm not going to lie, I got pretty darn lucky. You've got a 1 in 3,000 chance of getting this mount from mount drops. I was on 1,177 attempts, so that means that I killed 1,177 of these monsters, and I still hadn't got the mount. However, I was just... Farm along as I usually was, watching a bit of you know anime on the side, listening to my audio uh, audio book, doing all that that great shenanigans, and these fellas pop up, and uh, he basically I I I'm I'm a bit stubborn, but someone tries to invade on on my farming territory, I'm like you know oh <laughs> challenge accepted, so I uh, I was just tagging all the mobs as much as I could. And basically just trying to get as much of the monsters to be be my loot. So I could increase my chance of getting them out as quickly as possible. And since I'd already been farming here for three hours. I figured let's just do it. Um, anyway, after about 20 minutes of doing this consistently. The guy just messages me. And he's a lovely guy. He's called Mick. And he, he says, hey, are you farming for the mount? And I, and I reply, yes, I've got 1,177 attempts so far. And... Um, and he's like, great, can I just give you the mount for free and you'll let me farm in peace? And I was like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds great. 
But I was all I, I was fully ready to just carry on farming this to like way past 3,000. I was having a blast. I'm one of those people that can just grind away, kill stuff super easily, and just chill. You know, watch something, listen to an audiobook, watch some TV series on the other screen. You know, basic stuff like that. Well, if you like this video, guys, please make sure you smash that like button, you click subscribe, and hopefully we'll be bringing some more videos in the future on World of Warcraft and other cool games where you can collect things or hang out with your friends, cool farming spots, little tips and tricks here and there. I'll catch you next time though, guys. This is Erosium, out.